your favorite subjects, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she loves driving the golf ball. Mm -hmm. So today, boys and girls, we're going to be doing driver, draw, and fade. We're going to show you how to work the ball with the driver so you get to hit more fairways mm -hmm. and keep that swing nicely balanced. So we're going to start with the draw. Mm -hmm. And explain what your setup is with the draw. Well, I play the ball kind of off the, just slightly inside my, my right heel. Right. And I get really behind it. Yep. And what does it feel like you're going to do right now? Clip it on the way up. So it feels like you're going to clip the tip of the tee on the way up mm -hmm. and a little to the left of the intermediate point. Yeah. So why is that so important? So let's say you're a soccer player. Yep. Been there before, haven't you? Yes. So if that was a soccer ball and you were kicking it with your left foot mm -hmm. and you wanted to make it curve to the right, how would you kick it? You Beautiful. kind of graze it off the inside of your foot. And I've seen this girl kick and she kicks like a real professional. Five years at Queens University, varsity team starter. So this, you notice the angle that you kicked on was mm -hmm. going well out to the left, mm -hmm. but the angle of your foot was going way to the right. Mm -hmm. And that's what gives it a clockwise spin to curve to the right. Yeah. So now that you know, because of the way you set up mm -hmm. and you can predict that, you know that if you let it release a little to the left, you know that it's coming back. Yeah. And by the way, without a strong grip or a dynamically closed club face, this is not possible. Mm -hmm. So if you were going to kick that ball with your left foot toward the camera now, yeah, so notice the angular approach into there. Go ahead. Beautiful. Look at where that's going. Mm -hmm. It's going over there and the ball would just start a little left or a little left of the camera and draw back behind the camera. Yeah. All right. Nice. So that starts down the left center of the fairway. Oh man, look how deep that is. So 276 total and your carry was 256. Yeah. Angle of attack, 6.9 degrees up. Now Rory, mm -hmm. uh, in the, that last uh, episode he did with Brannel Chambly he says, mm -hmm. Well, I'm basically averaging three degrees up when I'm looking for accuracy, but mm. when I want to bomb it, it's seven up. Yeah. There you have it. Yeah. So you are seven degrees up, 6.9 degrees. Your launch angle on that was 16.7 degrees. Mm. Club head speed, 104. That's Brandel Chambly. Hey, Brandel! <laughs> that was Brandel Chambly's club head speed. And your ball speed is almost 150 miles an hour, and that was just a half a millimeter off center of club face. Mm -hmm and your spin axis was 0.2 left. Yeah. So, Sav, you didn't draw it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fantastic. And um, let's look at just accuracy wise, just real quick. Club data, whoops, ball data. So that was 126 feet, mm. beautiful height. That was crazy height. 2400 RPM and you're inside, you're basically just 70 feet left of center, mm -hmm. which is left rough at the most. So let's see. Uh... Hey, here she is. Look at how pretty that is. So drew all the way back to center line mm -hmm. about uh, 266 total. That's your your good miss. Mm -hmm, that was off the toe. That was off the toe. But if we looked at your club data, the face was four degrees closed to that path. So seven degrees from the inside, 7.6 up, 15 degrees launch, mm -hmm. club speed 105. So you've mm -hmm. actually came up a little bit since our practice session this morning. Yeah. And had that been in the center of the face, I think that had been 285. Let's do it. So all the ingredients are there. Just hit a couple more. Whew. 
So did you stay with the direction you wanted to go or did you kind of black out? Uh, half and half. Half and half? Did you feel what was missing? Yeah. Awesome. So that was dead nuts in the center of the face with everything beautiful, except the face was 0. 0.6 degrees open. Mm -hmm. So that's just your, you didn't quite stay behind the ball and, and didn't anchor that release, right? Yeah. Great miss. Did you hit that solid? Mm, not really. A little thin? So you missed the 255 down the middle. So again, everything's in place. Now we have the draw. Mm -hmm. And that, that's so important for all you guys to understand. That's why this machine is so good is, you know, let's say you're on the golf course mm -hmm. and that's in trouble. And you mm -hmm. feel like, well, the previous one was in trouble. Mm -hmm. And you feel like, oh my God, I can't believe it. And, but it was just, the club face could have been two degrees more closed yeah. and that was right in the middle of the fairway and deep. Yeah. So there's so many knee jerk reactions when it comes to, you know, thinking that you need to fix your mistakes. Whereas all you need to do is just stay with the, the, the picture yeah. and stay on program, mm -hmm. right? You say, okay, I want to go there at that particular height. So you have the height that you want to hit on. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna stay left edge of that? Yeah. Keep going. How was contact? Pretty good. I'd, I'd say. So there's 277. And the club face was 0.5 degrees close to that path. Yeah. Okay, so there she comes. See how we didn't have to change anything? Yeah. And what did I tell you? Yeah. 282, sorry. <laughs> I said 285. Right? Yeah. So here we go, boys and girls. And that's all there is to it. Now your club face is 1.1 degrees closed mm -hmm. to the same path and everything that we just did. Mm -hmm. And now you are, so your, your spin is 2100 RPM, mm -hmm. 17 degrees launch, five from the inside. And now we're talking, you're, now you're inside about 45 feet. So that's 15 yards. That's yeah. fairway. Yeah. So now you're left center of the fairway and freaking deep. So the center of the fairway would be one more degree closed. Yeah. So you see how we really don't have to go freak out mm -hmm. and think that you have to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. All you have to do is keep staying with that. Oops. Oh, that was a good one too. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Did the machine record it? No. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that would have been good too. All oh, right. Dang. <laughs> That's okay. And what? That was 263 oh. carry. 260 it's probably offline so 263 carry hang on let's let's have a look 263 carry it started four degrees left launch at 17 degrees side spin 350 back to the right that would have been dead in the center of the fairway mm -hmm. and it says here uh spin was tw uh, 2000 rpm mm -hmm. so 263 carry that would have been 285 easy ah why didn't it So on the righty standpoint, this is what it's going to look like. I don't like to be too wide in my stance. I, when I get too wide, it tends to restrict too many things in the swing. So I'm seeing that upward angle of attack slightly to the right of that intermediate point. 
and it's got to feel extremely easy to produce. Started exactly in the direction that I wanted to. Landing just over the flagstick. And there's an easy 300 yard drive for you right there. And so there's my angle of attack, 8.3 up, nine degrees from the inside. And you can see how that, uh, that curvature was just perfect. I ended up like 15 feet to the left of the center line at 300 yards down the middle. So let's have a look in slow-mo. Happens. Sorry, I just there you go. Do it again. <laughs> so now we're right center of the fairway, just a little more draw than what you wanted. Mm -hmm. So again, 280 pretty darn easily. Yeah. And that was two degrees closed, yeah. path a little less from the inside, right in the center of that face. And we're looking at 2200 RPM. I can get that down. Okay. Oh, baby, look at that. That was 266, Gary. 266, that's another, that's a personal best right there. Go, go, go. Oh. So 286. Yeah. Hey, not too shabby, girl. <laughs> How about that? Hey, you like that? A personal vest right in front of you guys. <laughs> and you see, look at how we developed that. See, mm -hmm. your club head speed now is almost 106. Mm -hmm. Just a hair above the center of the face, which is yeah. really good, right? 6.6 .6 degrees up, same launch, 2,000 spin, mm -hmm. and the face was 1.7 degrees closed. So you see how the, the brain hones in on its own, and that, yeah. this is so critical for you guys to understand because it's impossible for you to repeat exactly the same every time. Yeah. I could set you down here for a 1,000 years mm -hmm. and keep having you hit the same driver, mm -hmm. and you'll never hit the same shot twice, yeah. impossible. So the brain goes, it's like throwing darts, right? Yeah. You go, well, oh, missed the bullseye a little low, missed mm -hmm. the bullseye a little high. And it's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. You start off and the club face wasn't closed enough. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we hit one that was a little too closed. Mm -hmm. And then the brain found that, right? Yeah. It says, and then notice what you said. Mm -hmm. I said, I got this. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And as soon as you said that, I went, well, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> and no, the settings are not in favor of a tailwind. Oh, they, they, they're that, all neutral. That, that, that peeved you off, didn't it? It really yeah, did. Yeah, we had somebody come in and comment <laughs> and says, oh, no, your wind assist. And we, we reset everything on the machine this morning we never touch it's always yeah, on it's neutral, always neutral and it's updated to the nines right now i just i was just on the phone with the guys at foresight i wanted to make sure everything was perfect mm -hmm. and it couldn't be more neutral and you just had your personal best 266 carry mm -hmm. You know, you're only 15 yards off of me. How can that possibly be? <laughs> Little shit. All right. All right, now a fade. Well, I think we're gonna save the fade for the next one. Okay. I think everybody got a good fill out of this one. So stay tuned for the next episode where we're gonna do some power fades, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. Let's see how, let's see if we can get a personal best on the fade for the next one. Fine, I'll do it. That was fun, dude. <laughs>
Way to go. See you next time. See ya.